I'm gonna just start by saying uh, I'm grateful to have you at the judge. And the reason is because my, my previous judge before you told me if I was to lose trial, he probably would give me the max. And I heard good things about you, so I'm praying that that's true. Uh, I don't know if you remember, uh, before trial, you asked me if I had any questions for you. And then you told me to re uh, refer to my, my lawyer before I asked you, and you told me that wasn't a good idea to ask that question. And, uh, the question was, was it true that they call you Cinema Home Salem? In, in the jailhouse. I'm sorry, say what? In the in the jailhouse, they call you send them home Salem. Send them home Salem. I guess. Okay. It's a termination as you send people home a lot, and basically, a lot of people want you as a judge for when it comes to sentencing because they feel like you're fair. Um, and I was kind of like praying, praying that was true. So that's why I said I was grateful to have you as a, as a judge. I don't feel like in your heart that you will sentence me 15 years for possessing a firearm and I'm not a convicted felon. Um, I'm not a bad kid. I just grew up around in a neighborhood where it's kind of hard to not be a product of your environment. I seen shootings, killings in front of my eyes. I seen somebody die in front of me at the age of 14. I never told nobody. My friend was killed by the police when I was 16. Mm. My stepdad died. He was a, a good role model for me. He was with my mom for like 15 years, he died. He was keeping me in the right path when my dad was in prison. He was the only father figure I had at the time. And when he died, that's when I got incarcerated. When I was 16, right after my 16th birthday. And uh, just being a follower, trying to ride around in the car, I didn't know it was stolen. And I wanted to drive it and have it to be on carjack. And I didn't, me being young and naive, I thought, oh, I'm not gonna be a snitch, so I'm gonna just take the charge. But I really didn't do it. But the situation when, with the shooting, I did have a firearm, trying to be cool, thinking that, that was the way to live, carrying around a gun, being a father. Even though I wasn't the aggressor that day, and he tried to harm me and take my gun away from me, and it went off. I should never have had it. But luckily, I only got 18 months, and I got to take a chance at life again. When I got out, I was on a good path. I had a job. I was working with my dad. I finished my probation. I did every, I was doing everything right. But I was continuing to hang out with the people that I hung out with before I got arrested for my juvenile program. And I guess they were in deep with a lot of people. When I was going away, they created a lot of beef with other people. Strong enough beef uh, to the point where they felt like if anybody close to them that they saw, they would do something to just to harm them. And I was shot. My girlfriend was killed. And it, it was down here from there. Uh, the same area, I was shot and she was killed. Mr. I don't want to... The only thing I, I want to say is I know he has an open case and a different division. I don't know where he's going with what he's talking. I'm just, I'm letting you, Mr. Williams, know th through, letting Mr. Poe know through counsel that he has a right to remain silent regarding that case. 
Um, and you probably should not talk about that opening case, the facts surrounding it. I don't know the facts surrounding that case. But he was kind of going in a chronological history uh, order there, and I don't want him to talk about that opening case because the state will use it against him to prosecute that case. So I'm letting you know if you need a moment to talk to him so he he understands more fully what I'm saying. That's fine. I just I just I felt compelled to make that statement to him, um, considering where he was going with this statement. Understood. I'll have a brief. Moment. Sure. Okay, Mr. Poe, you can continue. You were talking about when your girlfriend was shot. Uh, I appreciate you for stopping me, but I wasn't going to miss anything about open case. Okay, it had nothing to do with it. Sure, I, I didn't know anything. I just wanted to say that to be to be as uh, careful as possible. Thank. You. I wasn't as I'm not assuming you were or were not. I just wanted to be extra careful. Um. Oh well. After that. After she was killed and I was shot, his life took a toll on me. Everything began to go down here after that. Same, same area as this incident in this case, I was shot again. And it's, it's kind of crazy because the, um, the state said in open court that they knew I was a victim. But then they turned around and said I was the aggressor in the trial. Kind of made me feel some type of way. Um, I'm not going to get into that because it's not probably my best interest. But I can guarantee you that it didn't happen the way you probably think it happened. And I know the song probably just sounded so horrible, but... Somebody thought it was a good idea for me to use it as a stepping stool instead of looking at it as a downfall. So I use it as a publicity stunt and it came and backfired against me. It was probably a, one of the worst decisions I made. But um, when I get out of here, I can promise you that you will never see me again. Have you sentenced me to something fair? I will never come back to jail. The friends that I was uh, willing to lose my life behind and the reason I'm in here, not here for me. I don't have nobody but my mom and my dad. And, uh, If if you was to give me another chance and I was still to get out young and be able to uh, pursue my music career, I promise you that you won't regret it. And I just want to let you know that. All right, Mr. Williams, any other additional testimony? Uh, no additional uh, testimony at this time, Your Honor. All right, State, happy to hear your argument. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, I was able to say something. Excuse me. Oh, sure. I'm gonna. I the way I typically it's, it's it's still a hearing. I go state evidence, defense evidence, state argument, defense argument. Okay. 